All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rachakodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. Bahashem means in the name. Rachakodash is a, a spirit holy, which is the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Pushing this word in truth and in sincerity to the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. And uh, I want to hop into a quick lesson going into this video I seen on TikTok. I'm in uh, YouTube, all right, um, which is going to be used for educational purposes only. All right, I'm not getting any financial gain, all right, or taking credit of the video. I'm just simply um, using it for educational purposes only, which you're allowed to do so, YouTube, all right. <laughs> but uh, with that out the way, I'm going to play it and hop straight into it. We could end the Ukraine conflict in 24 hours with the right leadership. I am the president who delivers peace, and it's peace through strength. There was a reason we had no conflict. There was a reason we didn't get into wars, because other countries respected us. I entirely built all right from the beginning, rebuilt our military. It's a big reason for that. They didn't want to mess around with the United States, and now they're laughing at us. The State Department, Pentagon, and National Security Establishment will be a very different place by the end of my administration. We never had it so good. We'll also stop the lobbyists and the big defense contractors from going in and pushing our senior military and national security officials toward conflict only to reward them when they retire with lucrative jobs, getting paid millions and millions of dollars. Take a look at the globalist warmonger donors backing our opponents. That's because they're candidates of war. Did you work at Area 51? Uh, can I confirm? <laughs> All right. So you heard it, right? Um, basically Trump saying he could bring peace or if he uh, was president which he's uh, supposedly running again which we hope he does become president because he's bringing back the uh, those guillotines All right, but now let's hop into the scripture Psalms 55 and 21 the words of his mouth were smoother than oil I meant were smoother than butter but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. All right. So what he was saying, you know, it sounds good. You know, he was speaking them smooth words, things people want to hear. All right. But ultimately, war is in his heart. And, um... His words are smooth, uh, softer than oil, yet they drawn swords. So here it is. He's talking a good talk, right? That's what the people want to hear. They want to hear peace. You know, they want to hear uh, we won't have no more war. You know, the, uh, those are the things that ultimately the uh, the people of the world will say the world. You know, they they will want that, you know, but. Behind the scenes, a it's the complete opposite. All right. This is First Thessalonians five and three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Like he said, he could uh, he could bring peace, right? He said he could end the war and bring peace. All right. So when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh. All right. So put him back in office. You know, he's going to talk the good talk. He's going to make those moves. But ultimately what? The destruction is going to follow after that. 
because you got to understand we're dealing with the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay, Esau, Edom, the nation of Edom, which today will be the so-called Caucasians who are really considered red in the Bible. All right, which you do have some of our people who look like them, whose forefathers go back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, who are going to look like the Edomites. All right, and then you're going to have uh, some Edomites whose lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, who are going to look like our people. All right, so it's really not about skin color. It's about the seed of your forefathers. All right, we know Donald Trump is for sure a damn Edomite. <laughs> uh, through the spirit, he's Nero. All right, um... So here it is. They're pushing that that peace doctrine, but behind it, a hey, destruction is coming. You gotta understand. We're dealing with the with the with the serpent. All right, a forked tongue. They say one thing and they really mean another. All right, let's grab uh, John eight and forty four. It says, "Ye are of your father." Uh, now this is Yahweh speaking to Israelites. All right, wicked Israelites. He said, ye are of your father, the devil. Now, is he speaking about God, the father? No. All right. You know, they even said we have Abraham for our father. You know, uh, is, is Abraham the devil? No. Who is this talking about? Ye are of your father, the devil. It's talking about the Edomites because they are the, the deceivers or they are the liars they are the wicked ones. All right. So he's saying you're just like them. And the lust of your father, you would do. All right. And what are his lusts? It's going to let you know what they are. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. So when you hear these Edomites speak, you know, especially these uh, elite Edomites who got some type of power, uh, a fake illusion to power, because they're not the ones really running shit. You know, you got the the ones in the dark with the with the, the, the puppet masters of these puppet leaders, you know, controlling what's going on. You know, there's no truth in them. So whatever they say, there's no truth in it. All right. It says, when he speaketh the lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So when you hear Edomites, especially uh, ones in rulership or a, a position of power, and they give you that good peace talk and we're going to do this and that. And it sounds it sounds good. It sounds great on paper, but in on the field. All right. On, when is when is uh, being played out? It's the complete opposite. All right. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna bring peace. P in the back of his mind thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna make a war. You know? Oh, we're gonna end the war in the back of his head. Man, I'm I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready to take over that. You know? They they talk a good game, they talk the talk. All right, but at the end of the day, it's the complete opposite of what they're saying. So when you when you hear Donald Trump say peace guess what it really means war because he said he said uh that they uh they what they let me run it back he said something about that they they feared we could end the ukraine conflict in 24 hours with the right leadership i am the president who delivers peace and it's peace through strength there was peace through strength so what does that mean he said 24 hours and uh peace by strength so that means he's going to bully his way. <laughs> he's going to bully everybody and, and getting to do what he wants them to do. At the, that's really what's being said. Yo, I'm going to end it because we because I'm going to show him our strength. He's going to threaten and, and however they do that, you know, their talks. The other nations are going to eventually get fed up with this damn place. All right. So, you know, there you have it. They are the devil. They are the liar. There's no truth in them. When they speak about peace, it's ultimately the complete opposite. 
All right. Yahweh Ratzazah. This was edifying. Till next time. Shalom.